um, graduate from Morgan State University, grew up in the Washington, D.C. area. Um, remember this face. We'll see you later on down the line. Great for you all tuning into the Flex Off. Shout out to Positive Power for having us and um, we're happy that you guys are on this ride. So I hope you guys enjoy the show. Hope you guys enjoy me. I'm crazy, but in a good way. Thanks. <laughs>
one thing I wish you would do. I wish you would talk with Trump pretty well because I don't know what kind of contract he signed you. So you telling me twelve million can feed your kids' kids? What's up with that? Now all types of boats are repossessed in Minnesota. Shout out to the trust people. Thank you for showing us how to have good money. Because uh, apparently that didn't happen. But um, Flip Saunders, he's going to be missed. And um, Kevante? Hey, man. KG was one of the guys I grew up watching. Um, he had a rough upcoming. He was in Chicago. He was Just don't talk about Cheerios. We Shout out to Carmel Anthony. No, Carmel Anthony. Let's not shout out Carmel Anthony. Um, well, KG... KG's been in the league since, shoot, 99 or 95, and he started with Flip Saunders. There's something to say when a superstar starts with the coach and he stays for a long period of time. And he came back home to finish and, it and off. And he came back home. But he actually outlasted Flip Saunders, I think, a couple years. But he was there for a good 10 years. So obviously he has an impact, and I'm sure he had an intricate, intricate role in um, having um, and has, uh, <laughs> to be a prospect to a mentor because, gosh, he's been there since 95. From, from the best prospect coming out of high school to being a mentor now, and now Andrew Wiggins and, and Anthony Towns are going to benefit from this. I know October is going for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I know we put, we give a lot to the ladies. We give a lot to us. And shout out to any survivors that's in here. Shout out to anybody in the family that has survivors. So breast cancer is a terrible thing. But we got to shout out the fellas. Fellas are being lost to cancer, to prostate cancer, any sort of the cancer. Hopefully there's something that comes out there to cure this because it's an awful thing to lose guys like this, but um, Dre, I'm going to pass it to you, because any lasting words on your boys keeps on this, maybe bless the And then we're going to even say we care about stuff like this, and hopefully the Timberwolves actually get the playoffs this time. Playoffs? Yeah. Playoffs? Playoffs? Yeah, I want you guys to remember out there, too, that you're also in the zone, so if you guys want to contribute at any point in time, please come up so you can grab the mic. <coughs> Not all at once. Yeah, eventually. Let me, let me settle down. Anyways. Wait, we just wait, wait till we get the football. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, rest in peace with Flips. What? Because you about to say something controversial out your mouth is going to piss me off. No, not yet, not yet. I'm just not yet. You do that. Anyways, moving forward, let's get into the NBA season, shall we? 2015 2016 season is amongst us. It started on your games on deck tonight. The Pistons face the Hawks. The Atlanta Hawks. Jeff Teague and the boys will see who actually will count for her, who's actually going to be the go-to guy in Atlanta this year. Um, we also have the Eastern Conference champion, Keith Cleveland Cavalier, LeBron James, Tristan Thompson in that new contract. Because where else would he go? Because it's only place he can go make the time and be as efficient. Kyrie Irving coming back. Injury, injury's over. And they'll be facing the Chicago Bulls. Derrick Rose is in action tonight. He's like, what's, what's one of those dolls that they just keep sticking in when you want to you stick the pens in? That's exactly what his career has been like. Every time he goes down, it's like, the doll? yes, stick, hurt. What's next? His head. This was, a, this was his nose. And he got hit. He's just a walking dummy waiting to have it. Anyways, um, he's in action tonight. They will play Joe Kino and the boys, the Western Conference champion. And may I add the NBA champion, Golden State Warriors, Splash Brothers, Clay Thompson, um, Steph Curry, the boys in action against New Orleans Pelicans and Anthony Davis. What do you feel about the games tonight? And welcome back. What the heck? Welcome back to Mason. The only game I care about is LeBron James. Oh man, get over him. That's not that's not a game, it's a person. That's a person, that's an <laughs> interview. I mean, is there anybody else really in the East though besides LeBron? No, no, you're right. It's a good yeah, thing right. you say that, because let's talk about the Eastern Conference. Let's run down the trades, have we? Number one, Atlanta Hawks, 60 and 22. Number two, Cleveland Cavaliers at 53 and 29 on the season. Number three, Chicago Bulls, 50 and 32 last season. Number four, the Toronto Raptors. That's a surprise. But the Toronto Raptors, 49 and 33. Um, on that season. And number five, the Washington Wizards, 46 and 36 on the season. Now, does this round up stay the same? Because it's not like uh, the Eastern Conference is anywhere near competitive as the Wild Wild West. Five. I think a team, a lot of us are sleeping on and a lot of people are talking about the Miami Heat. Uh, they like what they've done last year. Got the song White Side, the big man. Chris Dodge will be back. You got the win with the Juan Dragon is over here, and you add Joe Green and Mark Sideline coming off that bench, and you draft the Steelers, you draft the Mopoli and Justin Winslow. I think this team is going to do the full split of the team. 
that would be a tough one. How much, how much do we really believe in Maya? Because Flash ain't been Flash is Flash is a minute. And it's been a long time coming for Dwayne Wade. Chris Bosch was hurt last season. With the exception of one guy, they kind of sort of had the same clientele. What are we going to say about the Miami? You don't want to talk about the Miami. No. You here for the NFL. Come on, Ted. Who was that one guy? The really the first one. I mean, the Wayne Wade is up and down. Chris Bosch is plus and plus. Listen, it's, it's, it's a thing um, with the Wayne Wade. What's killing him is these uh, these chronic injuries. Yeah, he has these long, lingering, never really going away injuries instead of having like, you know, with Kobe Bryant, he has like acute injuries. Uh, Taylor's Achilles, we know he's out. But but the thing about Dwayne Wade, he can't stay on the court. It's too nicky neck. It, it, what 50% of the game is getting, showing up. And you can't get no type of consistency with the Miami Heat if he's not there. It's going to be all Chris Bosh and all the young boys. So you're telling me this this whole stand of Eastern Conference with last year is going to stay the same? Because um, at this point we definitely can't have the Knicks, right? I don't know what feels. Like. Do I thought that, I thought he was going to be touch everything he touched told to turn to gold. Not the case in, in the Knicks organization. A lot of unhappy campers were that were at that draft. I mean, they still should have to me a draft draft that you meant to be. Who did they draft? I don't even remember who they drafted. Who, who did they draft? Byron. Who did they draft? Chris Paul is in this. I think Kobe Sauce, Kyle Sauce, Kobe is developing with him. Exactly, it's a development with him. How long is it going to take for you? That's what drives the poor people, the development of downtown, with the Oklahoma City, to the Spurs. It takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. Just ask your Lakers. <laughs> really? Shots fired. But um, I would take the latter when it comes to Carmelo Anthony. You know, Carmelo Anthony could win every, anywhere. But a lot of people in this day and age, you know, Charles Barkley wasn't calling Mike up and saying, hey, yo, Mike, I see what you're doing. You and Scotty doing out in Chicago. I'm going to leave Phoenix and I'm going to join y'all. No. Um, these day and age, these guys are too friendly. Dwayne Wade and Carmelo go on vacations together. Kevin Garnett respects Kobe Bryant, but they are not going to be on a boat with their wives in the middle okay, of the Atlantic to get money. It was dumb. The coins was great. Was However, dumb. him doing that shows that it's my problem, my team, I'll do with it. And... Charles Barkley, one of the best uh, power forwards in the, in the league, but left without a ring. So guess what? You can leave without a ring. Stop being so friendly. You can leave or you can stay without a ring. There's no hugs. This ain't Barney. There's no hugs. So that you, 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 that you, can you can leave or you stay without a ring. D-Way and Carmelo with no ring. I mean, they're playing in the Olympics together. That's cheating already. Have that. But I'm on my own team. I don't know about you. Granted, I have to share with you guys, but I'm a bit of a dad. If I can take the 124 by myself, darn Skippy, I'm going to take it. Is he married to Bye-Bye? When would he have been okay, money-wise? I mean, she's a brat. What a comment. He's a good player. At this point, she might be a brat. Anyways, moving forward to the Wild Wild West. Standings, Golden State Warriors, number one, 67 15. Houston, number two, coming in. The Rockets, 56 and 26. Number three, Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers, the ties have changed in L.A. They don't even have... Any LA bumper stickers? It's like Philly, no bumper stickers, no 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 mouse pad, no nothing. It's all Clipper Nation around Center Center now. 56 and 26 with that record, number four for the Trailblazers, 51 and 31. And number five, Mike Conley and the boys, Memphis Grizzlies, Zach Randolph, shout out to him, 55 and 27. Golden State. People weren't as enthused about the road it took Golden State to get to the finals. They said it was pretty easy, but to a degree. It was kind of chameleon -esque. They kind of tore to adapt to everybody and still beat everybody. So they deserve, I mean, I, I, I agree with what Steph Curry says. Oh, yeah, I apologize. And watch this season if we, if we do it again. So Golden State Warriors, this role's not going to be that easy because guess what? These are your factors. You have a healthy Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook coming back. This, some, some are saying that this is the last year that they may have together to really put this whole thing together and go towards the championship. The Spurs, they're picking up LaMarcus Aldridge, big pickup, Texas boy. So that's a good thing to look out for. And Anthony Davis now, he's coming, young boy. This dude, 53.5 in the field in 2014, 2015 season, knocked down 80% of the free throws and 2.2 assists per game. And a lot of, not a lot of big makers drop, drop down free throws. And the only guy to do that in the season was not another big man. It was a small guy, Steve Nash, in the 2011-2012 season. So he's coming. The filler is definitely real. So, the Western Conference, these standings, 
They don't stay the same, right? This is eight, like five and six teams that could win the West, but to the thing over the state, I mean, last year they were number two in offensive efficiency and number one in defense efficiency. So when you have that formula, no matter who you play, you're going to be successful. I think a lot of people don't realize that winning championships in any sport takes a lot of luck. A lot of things have to go right. They can stay healthy. A lot of things that you know, might not happen on record, but it hasn't happened. So they have a big three, Draymond Green, new contract, Clay Thompson, you know what he can do. And Steph Curry, overtaking LeBron James, the most popular player in the league, number one in jersey sales, and number one all star coach. So this team is John Bowman. I don't, think, I don't think the staff what is going to stay in the exactly. Moment. I don't think the staff is going to stay exactly the way it is, but in some way, shape, or form, it's going to be a little reshuffling. I think the Pelicans will do a lot better with Andy Davis. I think he's the third best player in the league right now, or in the world in this case. Um, I believe the Spurs, the Spurs are, are definitely my favorite to win everything, and of course the Warriors will will be will be around. The, the Grizzlies will be around, and Houston now. I don't know about Houston. I'm not. I'm not sure if they can. Not be, taking the risk at all. Exactly what they did. I mean, I'm, I, this is all contingent upon, upon Dwight Howard, and this is going to be another season for uh, your boy to just drop hard and drop a whole bunch of points and actually get no help. But I don't get it with Houston. Everybody says he has no help. But you have Dwight Howard. How's that no help? Again, he has no help. <laughs> so I Dwight mean, Howard is irrelevant. No, well, he's whoa, irrelevant when he's I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say he's irrelevant. He's I wouldn't say irrelevant. He's the best big man in the league right now. I wouldn't say irrelevant. It's just that he was injured. Right, so when you think of the Houston Rockets, who do you think of? I think of James Harden. Exactly. But I'm saying he's not irrelevant because when he got back from injury, he was good. They were all right. It's just, it's just that he wasn't, like I said, 50% of the battle was showing up. He wasn't there for half the season. So that's why James Harden was showing off his superstar status. Let's talk about Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City and, and Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant made a couple of comments um, this offseason saying that he thinks what the best player in the world. Um, to what degree do we believe in that, and do we still believe in Kevin Durant? Because his injuries have kept him out a lot, but at the same time, you can't sleep on Oklahoma at all. If you think you can, you do have a serious issue. Definitely can, and I think somebody's going to talk about about the Russell Westbrook. I mean, his ability to swing. When you got the gun. He comes from that Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan school of intensity. He goes hard every play, not to praise anybody. Got Dion you know, Raiders, he got in his hand of that, and Bob who blocks everybody's shot. I mean, they got a pretty deep team to be interested to see if that was for the way, you know, dynamic and continue to work, but they're just as good as anybody. I mean, they're one of those teams that just look to the Let's talk about MVP, though, because if Oklahoma City makes the playoffs, Russell Westbrook gets MVP, right? Last no, year. No, no? No. You don't think so? Um, I think it still would have been down to Steph Curry and James Harden. And usually the guy with the uh, better team, better record, that's what we usually point towards, like, but I did think it, was, it should have been James Harden because the lack of help he had, but it, it still would have been down to James Harden Steph Curry. He would have been third. He would have been third. I think the latter. I think Steph Curry is earned it. You saw the maturation process of that team. You see them have a new coach. James Harden is just a casualty of not having nobody. And I still don't forget how people say they don't have anybody. Yeah, I lost him. They didn't for, have him for half the year. For half the year, he didn't have anybody. Let's talk about the old sack of bones that's in the West. So they call them the Spurs, who are never counted out of it. And they pick up Lamar, and they get Lamar Aldridge. How was. effective and efficient, and probably knows, I mean, he has a way of just sitting and, and, and molding, and they're never out of it. Can we see the Spurs maybe wasting another one? Because who knew they were going to get out as early as they did? The Spurs are not picked to actually win the West. There you go. Are you, are you going to stick to one team this whole season? Because wait till we get to your NFL team. How many teams and players this guy actually likes. So we got one. This is the definitive answer while we live in Birdland Bar and Grill. You are going with the Spurs. And I don't want to hear you coming out later. Oh, I secretly. I secretly love Winston Ross. Wait, wait, wait. wait. But wait that's up, a little right? different. That's a little different. That's just his pick. I don't know. Winston's actual team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the issue. Okay, so let's see. Um, can we go by the colors? Um, no, we're not, we're not doing that now. We're not doing it now. We're not doing that? Nope. You know You got a whole nother fraternity of people. See, I told you. I told you you got another fraternity of NFL and NBA team. No, you know my team. Stop it. Who, who? The Lakers? Same, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the Lakers, too. My man, seeing the light in the town of Kobe, don't leave me. You know, some of my greatest analytic endeavors have come from defending your boy. I'm going to miss you. Anyways, um, we're not irrelevant, so we don't need to put us in this. But um, the Spurs. 
What? What? Uh, what? I tried to have hope alive right on my brother. However, have you seen the ones to come? Can, yeah, can, yeah. can I propose something? Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I will bet a plate of chicken and waffles from here that the Lakers will not make the playoffs. And he loves them, too. And he loves them. The Lakers will not make the playoffs. Hey, can you say Absolutely. And you already owe me one for the football season, but we're not getting into that. And if you never had the chicken, chicken and, waffles and waffles in here, they're great. Okay. By the way, hey, the syrup hey, just... Just in the in the, the waffle, it just yeah. Anyways, the Spurs. Why? You never answered my question. Uh, the free agent pickups that they have, and they're always right there, so close. This um, this past season, they fell a little short of their goal, but I think this season that they made enough off season moves to get them uh, over. Well, you're only as good as your bench, and they, they, I, I count I count about three three players on their bench that can start for any team in the NBA, and when you have that type of bench rating. As soon as, the, as soon as the key guys go out, they, they keep it pushing. Yeah, they have a nice mix of veteran and young players. Man, they got a, the Spurs got a bench. You'd be like, where did you come from? I didn't know you were still in the league. And they, <laughs> and they West took a big pay cut to come to San Antonio. Yeah, that's a the huge pay West. cut. I mean, Greg Parker just said, he said himself, I mean, I'm not going to be up midnight calling you to ask to come here. So if you want to come here, you know, it's up to you to come on your own. Um, oh, into, oh, and congrats to Greg Popovich, that you will be the new coach of the USA team. Yay! No more coach. No, Chris, Chris, what's his name? Hey, you, coach K? You respect, yes. you respect my coach. Chris Here's a Duke lover. So at least you stick to one college team. So here's a Duke lover. But anyways, Coach K, he did some good time for that effort. For that effort. Hey, let's, get, let's get you another championship. Let's answer some important questions, shall we? And y'all can answer this too. Who wins the East? People are saying that it's going to be Cleveland, and go to state again. But who wins the East? Like there's any competition. But who wins the East? You see what I got on? The, the Gary the King, LeBron. That's a LeBron <laughs> shirt. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. It looks like you you a living color shirt, but you just took it and slapped. <laughs> LeBron's <laughs> kids made that shirt? I think, I think we're eating something. It's a good shirt. LeBron's and kids. The, and the LeBron hat. You really can't deck out. Is he like, you know, you want his payroll? You know he, you know he enlists his friends. You're not his friend, but you know you want his payroll? First you think I'm on the money team. Now you think you're, I'm you're, the money. We need to find that contract, too, because did you find that online? Because we sincerely are going to make this happen. Because you are just a bandwagon hopper. Mm. hopper. Figure it out, please. Hopper. 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 You're like stronger in between the car. Like, we don't know which one. Squash you because we just don't like you doing this to people. Have a team. Have a position. Set up your chest. Man, are you? Anyways, move forward. Who wants to eat? I already said my thing. What do I say? Cavs. This is not easy. Everybody's picking Cavs. Cavs, everybody? Everybody's picking Cavs. Okay, West. Trickier. Who comes out of the West? Can Golden State stand the test of time if all this is going to happen at once? And prove to people that last year wasn't a fluke. I gotta stick with the team last year. <laughs> but uh, I think we'll stick up there. Last year, Russell made a comeback last year. Russell Wilson um, and Drake and. Russell Dang! Russell Wilson might look at it for us, but a search for our big old shit. The defense is something that people sleep on. Steve Kerr will be out for a few games, but I think Luke Walt will create with that sound that you have in the right position. <laughs> and Steph Curry, the best player in the world, arguably right now, and I think he's on the dream right there. I put those three against anybody, Paris, Bond, Nick Adal, Bond, Zabibi. Man, he had about 18 games to go out there. But I like them to play the Spurs with the West Coast Conference. My pick is Golden State. Until somebody brings them down there, still a few minutes. Spurs. 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 Who wins the finals? Spurs. Golden State. Spurs. Who's finals MVP this time around? Clay. It's about time. <laughs> That, that, be nice. If he wins, is this it? Yes. yes. If he wins, he That's why I think he's going to win. If he, re if, he, if he retires, does is is is, is Tony Parker not too far behind? Or do you let he's him? Right behind. Behind. He's actually right behind him. Tony Parker not too far No, no. Y'all, which y'all gonna realize? Tony Parker plays basketball all year round. Like in the offseason, he's playing in France. Yeah. He doesn't. Uh, it's too much basketball. So he, he he's right behind him. Let's look at the season, NBA season. Who do you think is going to have the most impact of the year? Who's going to get that, M that MVP? Does it, does it finally stretch over to somebody in the East? 
And it sucks to talk about the Eastern well, Conference because you know, we grew up in that era where it was the Knicks and Allen Houston, they were beating up the Heat every year. Alonzo Warren, Alonzo Warren, they were getting into fights and Larry Johnson and happened to the East. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I can't. I don't know. I have nothing to say. Is it James Harden? If you're going to say right now, I'll probably say James Harden. I like just because no. he was so close last year. If I, if I had to say right now, I would say Anthony Davis. Because the skill set that he has, offensive and defense, he's developing a jump shot. And that's the only thing he's like. He has a post game. He plays outstanding defense. And the Pelicans actually have a chance to make some noise this year. So I will, my preseason pick will go, go with uh, Anthony Davis. Well, you have some injuries. I remember this one, Mr. Tom, Drew Holiday, has been helping you get. But I think LeBron, I mean, he's angry. He did it here last year. And the last time somebody else won the MVP before LeBron was, uh, Derrick Rose. So, well, Kevin Durant. Derrick Rose, Kevin Durant. So LeBron's like, it's my award. He'll probably end up with another three or four awards. Just remember, people, you are in. The zone with us. So, if you have anything to add to this NBA conversation, anybody, nobody. Hello. It's a nice no. <laughs> I tell you, wait for the football. They going to be crazy. Here. You know what? I have a lot of time left, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna take a break because we gotta get to the NFL because I, I, I kind of want to see how raucous this crowd can get. You already turned up, so this is about to get even more crazier. Um. I would say, you know, normally when people go on breaks, when, when shows go on breaks, they say, please come back to us. But you know what? We're going to take the time to be cocky because this is a play zone. Where else would you go? We'll be right back. We're back. You're still tuned into the first live. L-I-B-E. That, that's big. Um, Berlin Bar, the 6319 Bel Air Road. Shout out to Casey Jenkins for allowing us to do this. Um, I forgot to um, do some house rules before uh, we actually went on. Please go like us on our Facebook page, The Flex Zone. Follow us and comment on Twitter and Instagram at The Flex Zone One. Um, you can find me on um, Instagram at Mikel Shade, that's M Y K E L L S A D E. Mikel Ramos on Facebook and Mikel Ramos on Twitter. Kavante, where can they find you? Uh, I want to get my name before Dre goes and on his spiel. Yeah, this is um, going to be a soliloquy. Go ahead. Uh, on, Facebook, <laughs> on Facebook and Twitter, it's Crevante Heard, C R E V O N T E H U R D E, and Instagram is Crevante underscore H. Follow me. We follow back. Everybody, go ahead. No, no, wait, no. No, please, Byron. <laughs> please, Byron. Please. Uh, just, you know, Byron Dixon at BKB underscore TV. Check the website out. Yeah. BKB-TV.net. Okay, Sean, here, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you saved me. At Sean Hughes, Twitter, on Twitter, at Sean Hughes, S E N Y L A S, on Facebook. And uh, my column, Race and Politics, is going live on that. And of course, Russell. And W. Woo woo. Sports report. I would say last but not least, but this ain't something I'm anticipating. So go ahead. All right, on Facebook, it's Andre Melton. On Twitter, it's b Moore and Show Off. <laughs> what are you showing? <laughs> and, and on IG, it's Black American Dream. Right on. Anyways, <laughs> moving forward. <laughs> Why is that so funny to you? I just don't understand. Because, who, because I, I just picture you in a dark room, just no, no, looking no, in this no, room, no, laying, no, 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 laying down no, with no, all this no, idle time. No, no, no. no, 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 no. But see, this and you messed up when you thought of that. So this is I just envision you alone by yourself with no outside people, which is a problem, and this name comes up. I really think it was Ian on my idea to be more The so concept to... What are you going to do? You got a talent? Anyways, um, the NFL, Sean, yeah. I'm going to go to you first. Huge Oakland Raiders fan. This is to Sean Corder. Because the Oakland Raiders, I lost the pick. 37 to 29 over the San Diego Chargers. That was, yeah, yeah, that, that, that was a good uh, divisional battle. Oh, the Raiders, Amara Cooper, Whoa. what contributed to you guys win? Uh, we, we played well in offense and yeah, defense, offense, pass rush, pass defense, ran the ball, threw the ball. I mean, we did everything. We, every, we clicked on all 
facilities for the first time uh, this season and probably for the first time in years, quite frankly. So, we pray for Still going to take some time for the black hole to be as good as it was those bricks can in days, but how long are you anticipating the return? Well, well we have the chances we get on. So, I mean, what can you say about that? 
I mean, it's true what Richard Sherman says. I'm pretty sure when he's running up and down the field yelling at, at rest, he's not saying, good job, keep up the good work. No, he gets upset. I mean, he gets away from things he's not going to do the work. Cervante, your thoughts of the New England Patriots club? First off, Tom Brady got up because he's Tom Brady. There's, there's nothing else to be said about that. And Robert Kraft is his owner. You just want to let it go. Shout out to Mac Brown. No, 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 please, please. I let it all go because I, I understand. I get it. It's Tom not Brady. hurt. He's a, they call him the Golden Boy and Tom Terrific. Like, I knew he's going to get off. But looking at their schedule, I do see the Giants on their schedule. And we know the Giants are the New England Patriots kryptonite no matter how the and team looks. Only in the Super Bowl. When it matters, that's even worse. All right, so it can happen <laughs> during regular season. Um, but after that, it's not really looking too good. Maybe the Bills, the Bills have a shot at beating them. And of course the Broncos, the but I, 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 don't, I don't think. Who would they sleep on? Because you know they all, you are you know, you, One thing that I can say about the New England Patriots, they the don't sleep. The Redskins? Okay, we talked about this already. Okay, we're not going to do it today. We're not doing it today. I tried. All right. Now, um, the New England Patriots, they don't sleep on anybody. I, I noticed that, like, how all, I mean, teams will just go to sleep and, like, uh, we, we got this game one. No, the New England Patriots come into every game the same way. No matter, despite the competition, they come out the same way. So, I don't, if anybody beats them, they're going to have to beat the Patriots. It's not going to be luck or an upset for them. I think if that way Phillips defense can hold up, if De Denver can prove that they, they solidified themselves as far as being concerned, if they win this game. If you at least attempt to get Tom down. Yeah, Denver hasn't shown you that's all that offensively to get matched up with the I mean, because Omaha is being exchanged for interception now. Like, I mean, come on. And then also the Patriots have one cast. Bronk. Oh, gosh. I'm just saying. That's the difference. Uh, uh, like, Payton Man definitely has to play better. He has to go jump to somebody's time machine. Because this, I don't recognize this guy. Because this is, this he's is like five picks in the last two games. That is not Peyton Manning like at all. What did Peyton Manning Who? What? Old boy. It was old man. I don't get it. Moving on, we got to go down 95 in order to get back up 95. Um, the Washington Redskins, 31 to 30 over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. How do you like that? Shout out to Kirk. How do you like that? Shout out to Kirk. Hey, I've been through the West, I call him Kirky when he does something right. I, I picked him. I called him Kirky when he the Come on now. But hey, hey, they was down what by 24. Mean? I thought Warren Satin had a helmet on. Simeon Rice was out there. Because they made them look like they was James Woods. I, like, I get it, but come on. Anyways, um, how you like that? He was pumped up. I don't even think he did an interview. Anyways, Jay Gruden, blah, blah, blah. Kirk Cutter throws for three touchdowns in the second half, including the go ahead, go ahead touchdown pass to Jordan Reed with 24 seconds left to steal the W. 33 of 40 for the night for him, 317 yards. The key word in this whole thing, well, key two words, no interceptions. You have a guy in this animated about the topic of all the police out of time. A dead clock is right okay. there. Okay, will you shut up the dead clock? <laughs> Which way is the clock ticking? Anyway, Jameis Winston, 21 of 429, 297 yards for the young boy, two touchdowns. Most of his damage was done in the first half. Yeah, 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 okay. He has one, one game. Wow. You parade. picked them though, right? No, actually, I picked the Bucks. I'm like, why? I got a smart guy. The Bucks had y'all. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. Yeah, Thanks. but they're the Bucks, remember? But, okay, Byron, you said you hadn't come in. You said yeah, that right now. I, 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 like I know that's like a damnation to the NFL world to pick the Redskins. Nah, I can't. I you you suck. Look, this is one of the three ways I thought y'all would get off here. Yeah, what, what you said, because I don't know what you said. Um, anyways, the Redskins. NF, you know, the NFC East is, you know, they look like the Eastern Conference, you know. They're they're imperfectly they're they're perfectly imperfect because you don't know who's gonna really take it and, and you know I, I I gotta let me let me let me take away from the Washington Redskins right now I'm gonna get back to them because um, the Dallas Cowboys we gotta talk about the sure, love of America's team your team you secretly love them too that's not a secret not so as you can see the trend he has a flow of the sea of teams so Dallas Cowboys um, Jeff Bryant. They look unkept on the sideline. Um, Greg Hardy gets into the office quickly. You got you caught that on camera, buddy. That was on camera. Then he takes off his helmet. Dez Bryant, well, first of all, why are you standing up? You have a broke foot. Sit the heck down.
Grandpa, he takes the helmet off. He looks like he pitied the fool. And now Des Bryant's about to be his fool. Um, what's going on in Big D, man? Apparently, he just loving this. I feel real comfortable right now. I got my arm on you and everything. You feeling good? You feeling good? Excellent. The Dallas Cowboys are losing people. And everybody thinks Tony Romo's going to come in. Des Bryant's going to come back. This is going to be a quick fix. Of course, it is a quick fix. What are you talking about? You, are you throwing for quarterback? Did you see Matt Castle? Matt Fadden had the game of his life. Yeah, I, 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 and Matt threw how many interceptions? Come on, Sean, tell some sense in your boy. Here you go. No, it's nothing. I mean, you know, he's, he's, he's a duplicitous cat when it comes to the NFL. Listen, thank um, you. You know, and, and it's interesting that, you know, that how many people, I want on the record, how many teams do you have? Yeah. Three. He has a patchwork quilt of them. Somebody's Eagles, grandmother needs to put this stuff together because that's exactly what he needs to do. Three. Dallas, you know, three. The Cleveland Browns and Johnny Manziel starting. You wait, wait. Right, you're you're ball so hard, yeah, yeah. You ball so hard, balls. university. But and then you like the Eagles, Eagles. Eagles. Eagles, and then you like the Cowboys. <laughs> Somebody explain okay. something. Can we have an explanation? Okay. Somebody, I need. Look, my, Dallas is still my Super Bowl pick. I don't care. What the record is right now? Yeah, you've been that, smoking something heavy all day. The Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are not out of it yet. So are the Red Watch the Redskins. So are the New York Giants. And maybe not the Eagles. Kravante. Let Byron know. Let Byron know. I said Kravante. I'll get there. In the CDs. I say, what, what is there to say? We're definitely not the worst division in the league. But um, there I say the most. We could get a team yeah, in here so together close. and go probably play in the NFC East and win one, right? The best team in the bet, on the bet. The best team on the bet. Why are you looking at him to save you? I, what? I didn't say it. I'm just holding on to the fact that Rome one day is going to get healthy. You can't jump the Giants. They go lay an egg in Philly. Philly go get it blown up by Cannon. You gave them three picks. You got the Redskins. I mean, they they won a game. Okay, that'll probably be another month. They won another one. Oh, wow. So, I mean, you got teams that you can't trust them. Won the game before the Ravens. And that Cowboy defense played very well. They just had a few laps on special teams. That's why Red Rock was so upset. And you got another team that has a little bit of effort and not very short. That's why he's showing he's the leader of that team. Definitely getting out of control. In his draws. They'll be fine. Shout out to Michael Irvin. He'll probably be back maybe this week. If not, we'll be back to that. And when Romo comes back in November, they have a legit shot. I mean, I still think the Giants right now are going to get JVP just like the day. So it'll be interesting. Race. Nobody's going to run with this division. That means they're not going to win a game until November. And are you all? Are the Giants? Are you all? That's what I'm saying. So I'm saying, so <laughs> aren't the last, aren't the last two weeks of the season divisional games? Yeah, you want to get that kind of team in the NFL schedule all the individual games. So they might not beat each other. Okay, we spent enough time um, down 95 South. We're going to come up 95 North to home to you guys. Hey, the Ravens town. Oh, my Ravens fans at. Yeah, exactly. You don't see no purple lights on the sky, no purple sidewalks. Even the MTA don't put Go Ravens on this game. Because it's not the same. Guess what y'all did? You lost yesterday. Um, the Ravens 18, Arizona Cardinals 25. Late interception by Flacco. He's not been wacko. He's been doing the game thing. You gotta give it to him. You did call Wacko Flacco. I never called I did. Yeah, I, I blacked out when I said that. But, uh, um, but anywho, the Ravens hope of winning that one was. Of course, uh, how many seconds left is that game? Interception. Flacco, 26 for 40, 252 yards, one touchdown. I said the interception. Loss, kind of, the, this loss was the most lopsided for the Ravens this whole season. They couldn't move the ball. They talk about experiencing headset problems, but are we going to pay attention to that? They couldn't talk to Marshall. We're going to pay attention to that? Yeah, you know, messed up mics. It does have a lot of views. Okay, they're not playing the Patriots, so I mean. And you got the so good without the video had a chance, I mean. You just, you just don't have the talent. And I think the Ravens fans are just humble. We're not used to this being a worst record in the league. We're usually year in the year one of the best teams in the league, so you gotta get this credit. It happens. Teams look your bad and get some time things don't go your way. The many years that went out, it was just one of those bad years. That sounded great, but you suck. Yeah. You can't say it's suck. You haven't been going out. We haven't lost our board. Not seven really suck. This is a, a Each game we had a chance to drive down and score the game, win the game, I said. I hate 
need to be, I need to be explained why we're talking about a Baltimore Ravens team that doesn't have any defense. Before we get into that, Carson Palmer, 26 of 40, 275 yards, two touchdowns. Chris Johnson on the ground, 122 yards. Your boy, Carson Palmer. But yeah, no, we're talking no. about a Ravens team that does not have defense, and that's hard. Defense without predicating an identity, and that's hard. I mean, that's it. It didn't play as bad as we're used to seeing them play. I mean, you got to think about the Cardinals. Fitzgerald only had like 39 yards. I mean, Chris Johnson, besides that, with those two fluky runs where they, he had it down for like five seconds and they let him keep running. I mean, he really didn't dash this. I mean, it's just been weird for him. It's really nice. Um, so I asked this question a long time ago. I said, are we going to throw the panic flag? Are we going to panic flag? Is the season over? Are you looking for draft picks at this time? Or is there still time in Ravens' time? Sean? How, how is the season now? I don't know. I don't how. know. Ask, ask your people six, six, because six, people still believe. It's, I asked hey, what Ravens fans said and two people said something. I think that's a good indication of how things are going. It's okay. Like, the, you should have hit the panic button like three weeks ago. Moving on. I wasn't going to talk about the yeah, I mean, but you're the real, I mean, the team is depleted. I mean, offensively, defensively, I mean, their best receiver is playing with broken, broken, four broken bones on his back. Ratchet um, ribs. Right. I mean, it just, they don't have anybody on the field that can really get the job done right now. And they, they, don't, have, they don't have no one to motivate them. And I think that, 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 you know, I think a lot of people are looking at Mosley as linebacker as being the next Ray Lewis. And... I don't know if he's, I just don't think he's coming up, coming up to that to that standard. Um, kind of seems to have fallen back a little bit this season. Yeah. So it's, um, when, you're, when your middle linebacker has that much weight on him and he's not carrying it, that's a difficult thing. For, especially for a team built on defense. You know, you, you have a lot of respect for Ravens, and it's hard to go watch them go. I, not, not been joking about them, but it's hard to watch them go through this time. I mean, every team has it, but it's very difficult because you look at a Ravens team that was predicted to win the Super Bowl, exactly. and then they're in this predicament that they are. You, I mean, and they've always been scrappy. They've always found a way to win. And the games that they're losing, they should not be losing. They should have not lost last night. I thought they were going to win it. Anywho. Um, Carolina Panthers, we're not going to go too much to that, but they're, um, they're, they're, they're still undefeated. Cam Newton threw for one touchdown and ran for another, making it the fourth time this season he's done it, 28th in his career, third behind Steve Young for NFL record. Um, we're going to get into week eight picks after the break. Um, this is the flex zone. Please come back. Enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy yourself. We'll be right back. You got one? We're going to make this pick as quick as possible. We're going to round things up, starting off with Thursday night football. The Dolphins face the Patriots. I'm picking the Patriots. I'm hoping that's unanimous. Um, of course, the Patriots. Patriots. I don't know. You don't think we get the Patriots. You never buy the Patriots. The real bad man. Moving on to Sunday, 9.30. Is this game in London? It will be in London. What's going on with these overseas games? The Lions and the Chiefs. I'm going to take the Chiefs. Chiefs. Lions. Wow. I'm going with the Lions, too. The Chiefs are killing me, man. They're not there. I'm taking the Chiefs. It's in London. Sean Hendrick, what's that? I mean, they play well. They're even still good. They're in London. They're in London. Tampa Bay goes to Atlanta to face Julio Jones and the boys. I think I'm going to take the Falcons. That Falcons. Damn them. Falcons and Dolson, they're the one in Tennessee, but they're winning. Falcons. 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 Okay. Cardinals go face the Browns. That's easy. Cardinals. Cardinals. You might see Manzo, but Cardinals. 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 That'd be close. 49 oh, no, 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 yeah, no. I got the Browns. You got the Browns? Why? Please. Uh, they're, they're, like home, they're home versus home. Well, the Browns are, are a scrappy team, and they don't have a bad defense at all. And they're home. I do not believe the Cardinals. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, they should have lost that game. Anyways, San Francisco, the 49ers. Todd Gurley in the game. Is he playing? Go to face the Rams. Rams. Again. St. Rams. Louis. Got them. Check. Rams. I'll pick the Rams to get a play off. They don't want to get home. The Giants go to New Orleans to face Drew Brees and your boys. I'm taking the Giants. 
Giants. Adrian Peterson, welcome back. I'm gonna keep saying welcome back because it seems like we've been so long. Um, go to Chicago. I'm taking the Vikings. Of course, I would think it'd be a no break, right? Vikings, very quietly going to, and then walk over. Stephon Diggs, Vikings. This should be a good one. This should be a good one. Chargers trying to back, bounce back from the loss. Can the Ravens pull one out? Now, every time I beat the Ravens, they end up losing. So, I'm confused on this one. I'm still going to pick the Ravens. I have hope that they can at least get one. I hope it's not a close one. I hope they can create some space. Like Why would you do it again? It's not the Redskins. Why would you do it again? Stop that. <laughs> Stop that. Why would you do it again? <laughs> Too many happy That happens. Somebody sit that guy down. Anyways. I got the Okay, the, the greatest regular season team on the planet, the Cincinnati Bengals, we still got to see what they got to do in the postseason. They go to Pittsburgh to face the Steelers. I still don't believe, I believe it, but I don't know how much I believe it. That defense is still a Steelers. I'm going to take the Steelers. What does that mean? Really? Steal the Steelers. I'm going to take the Steelers. They would leave it better. But I mean, I'm still going to take the Steelers. But then again, I don't want to lose the It's the regular season at Bengals. Really? Everybody else? I, I, I got the thing. Man, I got the Steelers. I think Ben is coming Thank back. Yeah, he'll get a white right man here and by Gino Atkins and all that little bullets going with the baby. You know, I'm driving that train and that dog. This one's not that tough. Um, Titans, Texas. Actually, it is. <laughs> They, they all just can't get right, them too. Oh, I got you got a team with a quarterback, a team that can't make it. I'm going to go with the Texans. I guess like y'all don't want to say too many teams with a quarterback. So is Super Mario not playing? Probably not. I'm, I'm going with the Texans. I kind of want to go with the Titans, but I'm going to follow the plan. Anywho, the Jets, J-E-T, Jets, 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 Raiders. Oh, ooh. Kevonta hates when I say Raiders. You went with, you know what, I owe you one. You went with me, I'm going to go with you. I'm picking the Raiders. I'm on the bandwagon too, man. Raiders. 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 I'm going with Raiders as well. Am I going with their car? This one right yeah. here at 425 p.m. should be a very, very interesting one. The Seattle Seahawks. Blow out. Play. Blow out. The Dallas Cowboys. Blow out. I mean, Blow what else would you do? I'm definitely going to pick the Seattle Seahawks. Blow out. The Hawks. Blow out. Seahawks. It is not going to be no blow out. Stop saying Who's going to be? Who's going to be arguing now? Get a better. Sunday night football on NBC. The Packers. Are they home? No. They go to play the Broncos. They go face the Peyton Manning and the boys. Packers actually They're on the road. The Packers are on the road. You know what that means? This might be an I think the Broncos are going to win. This might be an L. No support system. The Packers. Just got double check. I'm going with the Packers too. Of course you are. Because you the bad man and Aaron Rodgers. You like him too. But the Broncos are not showing me anything on offense. They're just not going with the bad man. <laughs> All right, Monday. Can we say it? What? Oh, yes, absolutely. One, two, three. Cam. Yeah. All right, that's it. That settles that one. All right, Panthers will be the Colts, or anybody have hey, a pick? Hey, the Colts for the Super Bowl, right? That was your pick, right? Listen, they're still going to make the playoffs. They're still going to make the playoffs. You know what? Hey, I was wrong. They are still going to make the playoffs. The Colts are going to make the playoffs. Absolutely. You know, you know who's in the division? Come on, That's lucky. The you can get lucky. I'll take, I got the pen. And that will be week eight pick. Hopefully I do better understanding. Hopefully everybody else does better understanding. It's over, people. The first L-I-V-E, that stands for live show at Berlin Bar Grill. We did it. So, okay. We want to thank you all for coming out. We want to thank Casey Jenkins for allowing us to do this in his wonderful establishment. We would like to thank our guest, um, Sean Yost, NWA Sports Report, First Edition, WBA 88.9 FM. Catch his show Monday through Friday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. We want to thank True Sounds for our theme song. Thank you, Autumn, and thank you, Faze. Thank you, Drew, for engineering this whole shebang for us. 
Thank you, Zaya, for being our photographer, Rich, for promoting this event. We appreciate all your help and support. Don't forget to like us on our Facebook page, The Flex Zone. Follow us on Twitter and follow us on Instagram, at The Flex Zone 1. Check us out on our YouTube channel, The Flex Zone. If you have any questions, ideas, or possibly, possibly want to be a guest, you can always send us an email to theflexzone1 at gmail.com. Shout out to everybody out there. You are now part of the Flex Zone family. Um, you can always send us an email to theflexzone1 at gmail.com. Again, like I just said, tonight's show is effectively produced by Andre Melton. Our associate producers are moi and Cravante Hurt to my right over here. Our intern is, wait a minute. Matthews. Corey. Corey. Shout out to Corey for doing all the dirty work for us. We appreciate you, my brother. The Flex Zone can be heard on SoundCloud and on iTunes. Listen to us Tuesday mornings at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with Andre D. and Provante for the Flex Zone Takeover on Snowman in the Morning. Shout out to the Chicago area with Brian Snow on the Arena Sports Network. Listen in by going to www.arenasportsnet.com. This episode is rebroadcast again Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the Arena Sports Network at www.arenasportsnet.com as well as our new station, Positive Power 21. Yay! Shout out to them for coming out. Take a picture of us here, son, as well. Thank you for believing in us. Um, which can be heard by going to www.positivepower21.org, Global Christian Radio, Power by Speaker Radio. It can be heard Wednesdays between 11.30 and 1 p.m. And additionally, you can catch us on Thursdays. Go down at 6 30 p.m. Not even 6 30, we've got a full on hour. 6 o'clock on WEA 88.9 FM in Baltimore on the NWA Sports Report with your boy Sean Yo, which features me, Drake, Devontae, Byron, you've been on it. I've actually hosted a couple times. Thank you, Sean. Listen into our show next week as our guest is Rob Parker. And check out our latest report on the Shadow League. Well, check out his latest report on the Shadow League.com. He'll be discussing Major League Baseball and the World Series, which is going on tonight. Mets, right? Mets. 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 Go Royals. No doubt. Mets and seven. Oh, right. Royals and seven. Mets and six. I'm going to go with that picture of them young boys, man. Mets. Um, and as always, until next time, you know what? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. We did it. Oh. And um, I'm saying, like I say, every week, I don't care if it doesn't rhyme, it's mine. I'm Mikel, that Kevin Mikel. And we're out. It's been a wrap. It's over.